Hello, uh, my name is Vishal. Uh, I would like to just share about the pivot point and 3D cursor in this video. Uh, pivot point is basically a very important concept in 3D computer graphics. So pivot point is a point where the manipulator, the transform manipulator sits. Uh, that is where from the object gets transformed. Uh, the 3D pivot point where it sits from there the orientation of the object happens. And that is the point where uh, the object scales from. And uh, so if you generally see when I'm selecting this cube with the move tool, the manipulator's position is at a particular point if you could see. So what I want to do is I want to you know uh, affect the um, position of this uh, pivot point so there are different ways uh, in blender where you could do this so firstly if you could see here there is a, a list of uh, options given here and it generally controls how this pivot point should be uh, this uh, options can be accessed from uh, the shortcut full stop or period and then you could generally see the same uh, options listed out here. So I'll just show you how to change the pivot point of the object here. So um, right now the, the pivot point is sitting at the origin. Or if I generally move that object, the pivot point is in the center of that object. Okay, um, so what I can generally do is I can just change that to 3D cursor and the pivot point changes from there to this point and uh, what you are seeing here is a 3d cursor basically so let's uh, create some objects here so i'm taking a cube press shift a and then create a monkey shift a then create a torus shift a then a sphere so you could see i've, I've placed this uh, objects um, and different positions I can generally move uh, left and right also okay so when I select uh, multiple objects here you could see the the uh, position of this uh, move tool is keeping on changing so when I select the first one it is in the center of that when I'm selecting these two now what is the bounding box here is uh, if you could see it is bounding the two points and not the uh, outside geometry here so i'm just selecting this three and there are three points and it is trying to create a bounding box and it is staying in the center of the bounding box so this is where i can generally um, you know uh, affect the transformation from so if i generally change this to 3d cursor then the transformation happens from the cursor position okay wherever this cursor is located and if I just change this to individual origins, there are individual origins there. So the objects rotate on its own pivot point. Then we have a median point, uh, which is an averaged position of these three uh, uh, origin points instead of the bounding box. Uh, it's, it's not touching the boundaries, but it's averaging the position of these three. Then active element is basically if you could see when I've uh, selected multiple objects monkey has a lighter color. So if I just choose to active element the rotation happens from the monkey. So let's select uh, the uh, monkey last. Now the rotation happens from the cube. So the last object becomes the active element when I choose this one. So this is how I, I can generally uh, you know choose the pivot point location as I told you I can hit period on the keyboard or full stop on the keyboard and then I can generally choose my bounding bo uh, you know box mode pivot point and I can change it to individual origins 3d cursor and so on so I can just uh, you know explore that side uh, now talking about the cursor uh, what is cursor is just uh, uh, wherever this cursor is located uh, your first object I mean uh, any object you create that will be created at that cursor only 
so here there is a tool for the cursor I can just select that and click anywhere the cursor position goes to that particular point now I need to uh, get back to my tool and then press shift A shift A and then create a monkey the monkey is created at the cursor there so uh, the cursor can be Um, kept at any point uh, so I'll just uh, show you how to move the cursor in other ways uh, I'm pressing shift s on the keyboard and I've got a, a menu here and you could see uh, a cursor to the grid cursor to the world origin cursor to the selected cursor to the active so what I do is I just choose the cursor to the world origin the cursor uh, you know jumps to the center of that uh, grid there um, I can use right mouse button uh, sorry I, use, I need to use shift right mouse button there just to change the cursor position like that uh, apart from that uh, here um, I am pressing N on the keyboard uh, to expand this uh, options here and here I, go, I just go to uh, the view and then here we got the cursor positions so I'm whenever I place the cursor on the uh, one of the slider and hit backspace that you know makes the values to zero zero generally cursor defines the position and orientation also so you can generally change the value here manually also so I can hit 10 10 and 20 and the cursor will go to that particular position there again I can press shift s and then say cursor to the world origin so that's how I can just move cursor to wherever I want and cursor is generally used in a lot of ways it is an exclusive tool which you can see in blender you don't find this kind of you know uh, uh, tool in other 3d applications so uh, um, pivot point and cursor generally may uh, plays very important role uh, in you know transforming objects and creating objects in blender software